Okay, take the soup, baby. So clingy. Um, what do I do no. with this thing? What if it poops? <laughs> I hate when I feel the top of her head. It really freaks me out. Keep. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. This I just got, I love it. Oh yeah, I saw that. It's so nice. I love it. This is good and actually you can breastfeed it. It's um, a milk made top, you could say. Milky, milky. This, yeah. Very autumnal. Yeah. She's doing a dance. She's doing a dance. She's doing a dance. She's doing a dance. Doing a dance. Doing a dance. So funny, Emer being like, burn. <laughs> She's like, get rid. Yeah. She's like, we're thinking. Now this I hate. I ordered on Depop and uh, it looked horrible on. And it's like the colour of diarrhea. Delete. Delete. Oh yeah, this is a gym top I got in London. <laughs> and this is really like, what was I thinking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like what? It's just real random. Real random. You're I going to her face. Yeah, I was going to yeah. her face. This won't fit up with my boobs at all. And the tag is actually still on it. But it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, with like a long brown. back skirt. Yeah, brown so velvet. Cute. It's very Phoebe buffet. Yeah, yeah. Different. Sometime in November 2017, I met your dad for the first time. We had started the same job and I greeted him on the stairs. He was wearing a Hawaiian shirt buttoned up to the top with dungarees and feel disruptors with the laces tied too tight. I remember his baby face, then pre-moustache, which I see so much in you now. We were just kids then. With life in between, I knew I loved your dad more than a friend sometime in October 2020. But I moved to London and life happened again. In January 2021, my feelings grew stronger, but I kept it to myself, stewing in my lonely flat. Around March, it grew to a head and I told him I loved him. A few weeks later, we were sending each other letters and in April, I flew back to Ireland. We shared our first kiss and I ended up staying for five weeks, spending every day together. In July, your dad moved in with me in London and by October, we were engaged. In November, I went to Paris for the first time with him. On the train, the travels underwater. In December, I found out I was pregnant with you. In March, we moved back to Ireland. In May, we moved into this apartment and by August, you were born and we met for the first time. The only person who has heard my heart beat from the inside out. On October 7th, it was my first birthday as a mother and you were the best gift I've ever been given. What, 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 what? I'm so high, man, I can't even feel shit. Told my boy, got all like 10 bloods for me. <laughs> um, somewhere, and they were on a boat, and uh, came back, he was like 10, and there's a huge group of people around him. He was like, oh, you crazy child. And then, can you cut my hair? Or? I don't have time. Oh, that's okay. Don't. I don't know if I'm bothered, and I don't trust you. I literally I always... I just don't trust guys. Oh, yes, I never could get through. I went there, she went along with it. Really? Yeah, she went yeah. along with it. length as well. Yeah. Be short. So you want a shag, a short shag? Yeah. You're my little monster and your little snuggle dog. Aww. Okay, what are we gonna do about it's gonna eat me. Do you want me to do it? Yes. First. Okay. I'm on my own today. I was a bit stressed out this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit stressed out this morning. She is in a good temperament right now. Literally the only reason I can get things done is this carrier. I think I might attach the white noise machine like to the carrier, because I just feel like a fucking idiot going around going shh, shh. And it's uncomfortable for your mouth to even do that. It feels really unnatural. Like, it just doesn't feel right that I'm doing it. I know you're supposed to do it to soothe your baby. Maybe I'm just a bad mother. But it, that's the sort of thing where you're instinctually that's what you're supposed to do to soothe your baby. But I always feel like an idiot going around going, shh. Jason's now really good at it, but I just, 
just feels wrong. So I have the white noise machine and that has a setting where you can shush her to soothe her. She still thinks that she's an extension of me so it's good for her to be attached to me at all times. But it's just frustrating because I never know when she's gonna get hungry. Sometimes I could have a good stretch of two hours where she's not eating or it's like 10 minutes immediately after I've just fed her. So I never know when it's a good time to put her in the carrier. But she's having a lot more wake windows as well. So I like when she's awake in the carrier because I get to like kind of show her things. And like, it's like I'm doing my tours with her. I reek. I smell like sour milk. And I, last night I, fu I fully thought it was her. And I was like, Jason, there's a terrible smell coming off your daughter. And she didn't get it from me. So I gave her a bath this morning. I was scrubbing her down. And then after, after her bath, I gave her her oil massage and everything. Got her dressed in fresh new clothes. Changed her nappy, all that shite. And then I realised... It's me. I reek of sour milk, puke, shit, stale blood, sweat, all of those things combined. Now the thing is, I can't have a shower because I'm on my own. Jason had to run to work because he woke up late from his alarm. But I did text my mom to be like, can you please come over tonight so I can take a shower? Because it's really bad. I could just do a few baby wipes, you know. What will I do, a light wash or a dark wash? She did do a shit. She did a shit explosion this morning. So there's shit on one of her blankets. Oh, I think she's getting hungry. Uh-oh. Oh. What's your last one? Yesterday I was struggling a little bit but Searsha came over her from like 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. to help me out in the house So I she just held her while I got loads of housework done So today I just had a total duvet day because she was up all night feeding every half an hour And we got her on the dodies for the first time last night as well because Originally she took one kind of in the hospital for a little bit but kept spitting it out Because I think she just wanted the like she just wanted the comfort of her mommy Like she didn't want anything else in there, which was fine and Then another time once she took it while she was in the buggy, but she was asleep So we hadn't really tried it since then Um, anytime we did she'd kind of just spit it back out or start crying or just want the boob So I was like, oh that's grand Every evening around like 7 or 8 p.m. She gets a bit cranky Hopefully she doesn't ever get colic She just gets a bit cranky and you're like, I don't know what is really wrong with you and she's not crying, she's just a bit like, eh, eh, you know, like kicking her, kicking her arms and legs. And like the boob isn't, if the nipple falls out of her mouth, like she's, she's a bit like, eh, you know what I mean? She's real frustrated and cranky. So we're like, let's try and get her on the dodies and see what happens. So, so last night she took, like she got to the, she took the dodie straight away last night and she was loving it. She was loving it, sucking back the dodie. Doing a bit of journaling, doing a bit of, bit of reading. Hopefully I can finish this book today because it's been taking me years to finish it.
I just got her to sleep. I changed her nappy like probably every two to three hours. And I changed her nappy and then I was breastfeeding her and she was still a bit like, eh, you know, eh, eh, eh. and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then I was like, oh, I ate a bit of spicy food. Like it wasn't that spicy. I ate sort of spicy food last night. So I was like, maybe it's too spicy, the breast milk or something. So I just kept trying and then I was holding her. I felt a wet patch on her back. And it was like, she shot up her back immediately after I just changed her nappy, but I didn't hear it. And usually there's a bit of like a, you know, I got, I can't show them right now, but I got the ladybirds um, from Hacka. If you're breastfeeding, they are the best thing that I would say to get yourself because it just, you wear them all the time. Now, I thought they would be a bit more discreet, so I can only really wear them around the house. I wouldn't be able to wear them with like a tight top or anything, but they catch the letdown from your boobs without like any suction at all. Like it's literally just what drips out of your boobs all the time, especially if you are cluster feeding and you don't have even time. You know when your baby is like, swapping from each boob at e during each feed and you don't even have time to pump or anything or even you can't even hack out because like you need to save as much milk as you can for your actual baby you're feeding your baby not the freezer it's good to do the letdown because i literally uh, put the ladybugs on for i had them on for like two hours in between her feeds and this is how much i collected it's like one and a half, nearly two ounces, just from my letdown, so that's really good and i'm donating my breast milk today so i better put that in the fridge now, I want to fill up this bag and then put it in the freezer for the milk I'm donating. I don't want to be just hoarding my breast milk when she's not even taking bottles yet. Like, I can pump um, once I actually, like, once she's a bit older, because it's not imperative now that I have breast milk on, on hand for her because I'm just feeding her. Like, she's just taking the boob at the moment anyway. So I might as well help. And I got this PR package from Mam. Thank you from Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. So I got the two-in-one single breast pump, loads of dodies, but she's not taking dodies, so I'm gonna donate them or give them to Jason's sister. These now, these are the bottles I do wanna try, and I was gonna buy myself this anyway, so I'm gonna keep this, maybe give away the dodies, so, but keep the bottles. Breast pads, like, when you're breastfeeding, I didn't realize how many breast pads you would go through. I obviously do have the reusable ones, but they do, if I wear, I can't wear them overnight because they do leak. The disposable ones actually do absorb a lot more. So I might as well use these because I have them anyway. Like it's not something I would buy, but if I'm getting them for free, like loads of mams gifted me, like my stepmom sister and my cousins gifted me breast pads. So I like have loads in my dad's house and I have loads here because like your nipples leak so much and I just constantly smell like sour milk. Like there's just constantly just a smell about me, do you know? And I'm just like, I, oh, what is that? But it's usually sour milk. But the ladybugs are really good for wearing around the day while you're at home because you're like collecting all that milk. So that I actually got to see, how much milk I was actually leaking. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense because I do reek all the time. So, and a few nipple shields, which I don't use and don't need. So I will donate these as well. I've always been like, why do influencers accept PR that they don't want? It's just like a kind of consumerism thing being like, if it's going, I'll take it. Where I realize now, once I've had her, and I obviously I'm getting offered a lot more PR since I've had her, especially from like baby brands, I'm gonna take as much as I can. <laughs> this is a, like if any PR companies, I'm like literally your worst nightmare. I'm gonna take as much as I can because you get them in the fresh packaging. Like especially stuff that needs to be sterile, sterile and baby things that you don't really want to be buying secondhand, for example, like, I've seen a few TikToks saying you shouldn't really be using secondhand bottles because the teeth can um, harbor bacteria even if they are sterilized. I don't know how true that is, so don't come for me in the comments if it's not true. And things like, you know, car seats, baby crib mattresses and random stuff like that. Now I am a big advocate obviously for getting stuff secondhand. A lot of stuff we got for her was secondhand. It's, it's felt like the most affordable baby in the whole world. And we are moving to reusable nappies soon. So like she literally won't cost us anything so what i was saying anyway i'm going on a tangent i'm going to donate this breast pump <laughs> look at her little head i'm gonna donate she looks like a testicle i'm gonna donate this breast pump if there are any domestic violence shelters because a lot of women when they're pregnant your chances of domestic abuse increases which is fucked up but it actually increases while you're pregnant I'd say there are a lot of mams with newborns in domestic shelter uh, domestic violence shelters i'll either donate there or if there aren't any donate if i can't find any to donate or if anyone has any suggestions this carrier is good this is from nigel 
this is um like the one i wear around the house where's the brand here i'll link it down below but this is the one i wear around the house and then the ergo baby i wear when i'm like going out of the house because it feels just a bit more sturdier but this one feels comfier for her if that makes sense this one is, is handier because i can throw a jacket on if i need to leave the house i can throw the uh, jacket on over whereas the ergo baby has like really thick straps so like you look like you have a hunchback if you throw a jacket on and i do need to leave to get some groceries i have gotten a bit more confident leaving the house on my own with just her so today i'm gonna go try go to the shops which is a bit more risky because i actually have to like carry bags as well oh so because every time i wake up in the morning i'm like that was a good sleep i look at myself in the mirror and it looks like i have two black eyes and i'm like that's weird because i kind of feel well rested but i think i forget what feeling well rested actually feels like and then i reach midday and i'm like oh my god i could actually collapse right now but you do get you do get used to it but last night she was waking up i'd say every hour to feed now that jason's off for a week we're gonna try give her a man bottle of pumped breast milk that is so he can feed her during the night and i can get a bit more rest because i've been doing all every single like all nights and i'm a morning person so when i wake up and it's like bright out i can't really go back to sleep like it's impossible for me to go back to sleep or snooze so Ugh. i was just about to leave had my keys in my pocket and everything jacket on and she started going <coughs> sucking her fist so i had to feed her was feeding her, I'd say, for an hour and 15 minutes. Both boobs, back and forth. Then burped her, she puked all over my top. Here. Um, so now I have to change my top and then try to get her back in the carrier again. I don't know what she's fussing over now. What's wrong with you? What? Uh, like, you're hardly hungry still. I'm starving, like, I can't keep breastfeeding her because I will collapse if I do it again. Oh, you are about to latch. Oh. I need to eat. I got to go to Dunn's in the end. I ran around, went to Brent Thomas, got Jason's sister a present. Did a bit of a food shop. Couldn't get Missy f cat food though because it was too heavy. I'm trying out these new nappies today. I haven't tried them out before. So we'll see how we go. She just pissed like in her, she just pissed in her sleep suit, so I need to put a new outfit on her. And she already shit up the back today, so she's doing she's doing good. But I'm actually gonna put a little outfit on her today because she's kind of big enough now to wear an outfit. Like we just had sleep suits on her. We have like actual clothes for her for the age she is now, if that makes sense. So I was thinking this, a little pink jumpsuit and a turtleneck uh, vest. You're a little pissy pants. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. You poor baby, you can't help it. The nappies are a bit like stiff or something. Like the pampers feel soft. But anytime I've got bamboo nappies, they're always like hard. But maybe they're all just like that because the bamboo makes it like that. I don't know. But I hope it's not uncomfortable for her. <laughs> oh Jesus. Even with the buttons open, like it's a bit tight in your head. Oh no, your tootsies are cold. I better hurry. So I got you this top. Yeah. Which I think would be really nice. What do you think? I love it. Do you actually? Well, I'll try it on. I don't know, the neck The neck looks a bit... No, it's nice, trust me. Okay. Yeah, I like it. With, your, with them pair of trousers I got you? Yeah, yeah. I got you a skirt. Yay! But I like a long skirt. Oh. Ready? Yay, yay, yay! Now yeah. that might look a bit Mormon on me. Do you think? I don't think so. With your new docks? Hello. Hello. Okay, I'll try them on. The sun and came rolling home. He played tree, he played knick-knack on my knee. There's no focus. It's recording. Yeah. Now, I do have my, you know I won an award in Trinity? I won an award. When? In the film. Uh, oh yeah. Memory, but Michael D. Higgins is going to be there, so I need a power suit. Okay, um, love this. I think, try it on with the I other like shirt. I don't see the shirt. Is the shirt big. is too big and um, yeah. But I like the suit. 
This suit is really nice. Action. Is there? Everything's shit here. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Very bad. Soft sale. This looks good with a. Boots. It does look good. Do you need a bigger size or do you want the medium? No, this is a good size. Because it's kind of splitting there at the buttons. Busting at the seams. Yeah, do you, I this think I, I can try try on though. Try, I think you should try on a large just because you might feel more comfortable in it. Okay. Will I go get you one? I do feel comfortable, but it's just that there's a hole. Yeah, okay. Yeah, do get it. Do get I'll a get large. you two more, two more then. Just get a large. The, a large. Oh, okay, I'll just get you large. But I really like this. So shirt, pretty, yeah. so pretty. Okay. Jay, 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 Jay. Sorry, there's a hole in it and it's like busting off the seams here as well. Very bad for me. Yeah. Are you recording me? Monsieur, bro. Yeah. Monsieur Frere. Um, Who's With Johnny? Sanchez. So that's crack. Oh, sorry, Caleb. Do you want to have yeah, a, a tour? I love the way Mum's on the phone, you're just ignoring her. Tell me. This is mine. Wait, are you finished your, all your you business there? Wait, 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 wait. Are you going back to your gas? Under uh, yeah, restraint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's handy having a musician now, fella. Do you want to pull the chair out, Wait. Are you going to edit these bits out? No. No, you're not keen. Come on. I'm not going to do it unless you say you're not keen. Okay. Jesus Christ. Change of mind. But I know that this time I have. I told you to laugh about it. I need the tears in my eyes. Cause boys don't cry. I thought.